It's 48% of people saying that they have put on weight during lockdown, all starting to think about the health consequences. And now, as restrictions begin to ease, Dr Michael Mosley believes that this is a crucial time to get your body healthy, and he joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, Michael. Um, so we know <laughs> that there are uh, groups that uh, are more susceptible. Um, those over their 60s, the BAME community, those with underlying health conditions, all of those we have in the past looked at and we'll look at again. Today we're looking at obesity. Why is obesity a contributing factor in the way you recover from COVID-19? Sure. So obesity roughly doubles your risk of having serious complications. But the problem is it's also tied in with other things like uh, type 2 diabetes or indeed raised blood pressure. And both of those also contribute to your risk. So uh, that's one the way it works. If you have too much fat, particularly around your gut, then that massively increases your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And if you have type 2 diabetes, that again doubles your risk of having serious complications. So with obesity, one of the things is it reduces your lung capacity. And that means when you end up in intensive care, you need all the oxygen you can get. And unfortunately, people who um, are significantly overweight, they struggle in intensive care. And the other thing that happens is that when you have a lot of fat, particularly around the gut, it produces these things called inflammatory agents, inflammatory chemicals that travel around your body and induce chronic inflammation. And that undermines your immune system, which means that um, if you get exposed to the virus, you're much more likely to get an infection. And also, I guess everyone is optimistic that at some point there might be a vaccine that sort of is the way out of all of this. However, if you are overweight, a vaccine, you say, is less effective? I'm afraid so. They did a study in which they vaccinated a whole load of people against the flu last winter. And what they found was that if you were a sort of healthy weight, then there was a roughly a 5% failure rate, which isn't bad. But if you were overweight or obese, then it was double that. So the failure rate was more like 10%. So the vaccine was half as likely to work if you're overweight. Um, so as I said, I'm afraid uh, fat, particularly around the gut, seems to do really bad things for the immune system. Plus it's bad for you in all sorts of other ways, diabetes, dementia, depression, and poor sleep. All of those are affected by obesity. And, um, and so as the lockdown is gently lifted in some areas, public transport, meeting in gardens, protests, of course, shops, work. Um, if you are overweight, then obviously this could very well concern you as the world begins to slowly open again. Um, the option there is to rapidly lose weight, which we yeah. are told isn't good for us and you never keep it off anyway. Yes, I mean, that certainly used to be the accepted wisdom, but there have been a couple of really big studies, one run by Professor Roy Taylor in Newcastle University, another by Professor Susan Jebb at Oxford University, which showed the exact reverse, basically rapid weight loss. Um, I have a program called the Fast 800, which is based on their work. And uh, we've also been running trials. 20,000 people have done the Fast 800 program. And so far, average weight loss over eight to 10 weeks has been around 10 kilos. That's about 22 pounds. And what the two professors found in their study is that it was the people who lost the weight fast who were more likely to keep it off. So in both their studies, they lost an average of 10 kilos, which was kept off uh, for a year to two years, uh, compared to those trying to do it slow and steady. And the people who did it slow and steady lost an average of one kilo, which they kept off. So there was a tenfold increase. If you do it properly, clearly, it's not suitable for every, absolutely everyone, but it does brilliantly work. And there was yet another study which was published last week. This was in younger people, and that found that doing this fast 800 approach, rapid weight loss for around 800 calories a day for about eight to 10 weeks, that led to an average weight loss uh, sustained over a year of about 13 kilos, which is about 28 pounds. And that was enough to reverse type two diabetes in this study in 65% of um, the people who had it. So I am the reason I'm banging on about weight loss, particularly around the tummy, is because the effect it has on things like your blood pressure and your blood sugars. It'll bring them down really fast. And I spoke to Professor Roy Taylor recently about it, and I said, 
is it okay to do this sort of thing, you know, at this time, COVID-19? And he said, yes, it's a good time to do it because you will bring your blood sugars back to normal really fast and that will reduce your risk um, from the virus significantly really fast. And then, you know, you do need to be careful to maintain it, but um, that's about joining a proper program. But um, the government is so convinced about this that they've rolled it out in more than 5,000 people. So uh, rapid weight loss is kind of becoming a much more accepted um, thing to do. And um, I've certainly done it and uh, hugely beneficial. Um, you're also a big fan of the Mediterranean diet, switching up your diet, eating more fibre as well, so sort of, so sort of brown pasta rather than white pasta, bread also. Exercise, I mean, exercise is obviously really important as well. Absolutely, and people kind of know that they should be doing uh, walking and running, but the other really important thing is strength, because you lose something like 5% of your, if you don't use it, you lose about 5% of your muscle mass every decade from the age of 30. So uh, I and my wife, Claire, who's a GP, uh, uh, we've been doing lots of press-ups. She started off being able to do two, and she's now up to 20. And she's 57 years old. Uh, I started at 15. I'm now at 40. I can do about 100 press-ups in a day uh, reasonably easily, and I'm 63. So it's never too late to start. Get going with those press-ups, those squats. Yeah. This, um, this message is, is not new. Uh, you have to exercise more. You have to adopt a Mediterranean diet. Um, eat healthily, look after yourself, try, and we've been talking for years about the, the importance of sleep on this programme. Do you think the fact that there is this other danger lurking out there is enough actually to propel people into changing their way of life? Now, actually, hold on a second. There is a virus out there to which you could be susceptible if you don't lose weight. Absolutely. We have the example of Boris Johnson who described himself as a beast, and he was, um, you know, he was on the brink of death. He was seriously ill. So I suspect that he will embrace this politically. And um, I also write uh, for the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday, and I know they're very serious about wanting to sort of get a campaign going. And I speak to a lot of people now who are very concerned. They contact me by email or however it might be. And they really want to know how to do it, because we've known for a long time the importance of doing it, but it's kind of, how do you do it? Where are the recipes? So my wife, uh, Dr. Claire Bailey, you can find her on Instagram. She's doing a load of recipes you can do really fast uh, and which are super healthy. So it's about knowing what to do as much as anything else. And also clear messages. So people think of the Mediterranean diet as pizza and pasta, but the traditional one is very, very different to it. And that's why, again, I bang on about this in all my books because again and again we've seen with the proper Mediterranean diet lots of legumes fiber lentils uh, things like that that it not only improves your risk of you know reducing heart disease but also you will sleep better your stress levels will come down there was a big study recently which showed that uh, getting students to change from their normal diet to a Mediterranean diet within three weeks their levels of stress and anxiety by half. Yeah, it and helps all cool. aspects of life, yeah. doesn't it? Um, thank you. It's lovely Thanks, to talk Michael. to you today. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Right.